is up you guys welcome back to another one if you are new to the channel i am gold penny i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2022 mercedes-benz s580 courtesy of mercedes-benz of hagerstown in hagerstown maryland for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so we are obviously in this one today because this is the benchmark for its class not only that there are some changes for the 2022 s class for this year as well so ultimately i will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking steering field ride quality sound system exhaust clip all that fun stuff so having said all of that what do you guys say let's just go ahead and jump right into it and as always let's start with pricing so as you can imagine there are a few different trim levels for the 2022 s580 first one being the luxury line starting at 117,700 dollars amg line for 122,000 and lastly the executive line starting at 129,100 dollars but regardless of trim level that you go with the power plant on this beast is going to be the same powering the s580 is a four liter bi-turbo v8 putting out 496 horsepower at 5500 rpm 516 pound feet of torque coming in at 2000 rpm power sent to all four wheels through mercedes 4matic all-wheel drive system that power is sent to the ground through a nine speed automatic with paddle shifters which we will be testing out here in a little bit zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 4.4 seconds according to mercedes benz and i put it that way because car and driver actually just recently tested it at 3.9 seconds so substantially quicker than mercedes benz put it out originally top speed 129 miles per hour with mpg numbers coming in at 60 in the city 25 on the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test here or paddle shifter test in the s class i did want to mention to you guys the drive mode there's actually a button labeled dynamic just underneath of the infotainment screen there so ultimately that will give you drive modes including eco comfort sport sport plus and individual adjusting things like the shift points the throttle response steering sensitivity and the suspension settings actually as well and so now having got all of that out of the way what do you guys say let's go ahead and find a straightaway let's put the paddle shifter and acceleration here to the test at the same time and let's see how quickly the paddle shifters are going to react and let's see how quickly we can get our new 2022 s-class here up to speed all right a couple of cars coming here so it's going to be a rolling start but here we go dang <laughs> this thing is a rocket not only is it a rocket but it's super freaking quiet you you guys could probably hear almost nothing there when i did that acceleration and this thing got up to speed so freakishly quick and you really don't realize how fast you're going until you look down because it is so quiet so that was incredible paddle shifters were instantaneous as well as expected at a car of this price range i guess but yeah excellent paddle shifters excellent acceleration definitely not going to be disappointed with that without a doubt but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so four-wheel ventilated disc brakes of course do come standard as far as that 60 to zero stopping distance goes it's going to come in at a very impressive 108 feet that is 100 sports sedan good and even sports car good you guys that is an excellent braking distance and braking feel by the way is excellent as well i will say it tends to lead on the luxury side of things but when you really need it it brings you to a very quick stop without a doubt so loving the braking feel on this thing then touching on suspension and handling there is an adaptive self-leveling four-wheel multi-link air suspension that does come standard so essentially everything you could possibly want every suspension component that could make this thing even smoother of a ride basically so essentially when i review cars i look for two extra things when it comes to ride quality that's going to be the adaptive suspension and an air suspension and this has both so you're not going to get any smoother of a ride quality when it comes to the s class for that particular reason but guess what it does get smoother and here's why newly available for the 2022 s class is something called e-active body control by the way that goes for 6500 dollars essentially scans the road via a camera to help adjust the suspension at each wheel to minimize body motion so you got that as well and it continues there is a 10 degree rear axle steering that comes with the executive line just like the mercedes maybach s class as well which is pretty darn cool so anyways as far as ride quality goes you guys know what i'm gonna say this is one of the smoothest rides i've ever experienced without a doubt as far as steering feel goes let me actually put it back in uh sport it is a noticeable difference depending upon which drive mode that you put it in but honestly it's just right it's not incredibly heavy it's definitely not on the looser side of things it's exactly the steering feel that it should be in an s-class as far as cabin noise goes 
there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. You guys can hear nothing. There's no road noise. It's absolutely amazing. So no issues there. And that's due in part because this thing has acoustic laminated glass all around it, essentially. That touching of visibility, I can see perfectly fine out the back. However, those second row headrests are kind of beefy. So they do take up a little bit of space, but honestly, you're not gonna have any issues there. It's definitely gonna be something that is not gonna be an issue whatsoever. Rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard and there is an available head up display if you wanted to go that route as well. But that pretty much rounds out the performance segment of this review, you guys. Let's still go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2022 Mercedes-Benz S584 Matic. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2022 Mercedes-Benz S584 Matic. And here is a little shot of the window sticker in case you wanted to see that real quick. This one comes in at approximately 131,000, but as far as exterior goes here, color on this particular S-Class is Manufactured Diamond White is the color name, but there are some new colors for the 2022 model year. It's gonna be nautical blue metallic, Kalahari gold, manufacturer cashmere white mango, and manufacturer selective gray mango. In case anybody was curious about those new colors for 2022. Let's go ahead and start up front though. Chrome front grille with the adaptive cruise control sensor front and center integrated very well into that front grille. So you really can't even tell the difference when you're, when you're from afar. And I also like the Mercedes crest located on the hood there. Definitely looks good as well. And it was kind of fun seeing that as I was behind the wheel driving this thing. Chrome accenting towards the lower portion of the front bumper to tie everything together as well. AMG body styling, obviously with the AMG line package or trim level, I should say. To the sides, full LED headlights do come standard being both low beam and high beam with LED daytime running lights, automatic feature coming with that as well. And automatic high beams, meaning if you have your high beams on at night and it senses a vehicle coming in the opposite direction, it's going to automatically dim those back to low beams. Then when that vehicle is gone, it's going to bump it back up to high beams for you. So very convenient feature there. And overall, it looks like an S-Class, very nice design to the front, very recognizable instantly. So pretty much rounds out the front end of this one though. Let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the S580. All right. So now since we are around to the side of this one, chrome window surrounds do come standard chrome door handles flush when the vehicle is actually moving of course right now they're popped out because we're not moving but anyways flush with the s class for a little better aerodynamics taking a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they are also heated of course with led integrated turret signals and they are auto dimming so that's always nice if somebody's got their high beams on behind you and power folding then as well and this thing is going to get some added chrome accents on the side skirts towards the bottom there you guys could probably see that then as well but let's take a look at the wheel setup it is going to differ obviously 19 inch twin 10 spoke alloys coming standard but then you do have 20 inch and 21 inch wheel designs available if you wanted to go that route and if you were to go with the amg line package you will get 19 inch amg specific alloy wheels then but again that pretty much rounds out the side let's now go ahead and make our way to the back all right and so now since we are around to the back of this one you guys can see there is an led high mount stop lamp just uh all the way towards the upper portion of that glass there on the trunk there you do have a body colored rear spoiler coming standard chrome trim tying together the tail lights gotta love that look as well and by the way led tail lights do come standard and i love all the little kind of led individual lighting within these tail lights you guys could probably see that it's such a cool design the attention to detail that mercedes put into this s class it always astounds me so definitely a big fan of that as well led license plate lighting also coming standard you do have some added chrome trim towards the bottom portion of that lower rear bumper there and a little bit of a gloss black rear diffuser in between everything there at the bottom it looks pretty good and lastly integrated dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip So now since we are around to the back of the S580, when it comes to opening that rear trunk, there are a few different ways to go ahead and do that. There is a button on the key fob itself. That is one way. There is also a button on the driver's side door and there is a button on the trunk itself as well. It is a power trunk, of course, and it's pretty quick opening and closing power trunk at that. A lot of times, 
it's not as quick as this particular power truck is. So I was definitely a big fan of that. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 13.8 cubic feet, which is definitely a good bit of cargo space back there. There is LED cargo lighting back there. There is a 12 volt power outlet. There are tie down anchors actually as well. There's a little bit of netted storage to the sides there. And if you lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you're actually going to find some more storage as well for a little bit of in floor storage. So it's definitely something you typically find in SUVs. So I was a huge fan to see it actually in a sedan, even if it is the S class still, it's rare to see that. So I was definitely a big fan there. Making our way then to the rear legroom that comes in at 43.8 inches. That is a ton of rear legroom. For reference, I've been even six feet tall. This is how much space I have back there. Power rear window sunshades, not just for the actual rear window, but actually power side window sunshades as well. So definitely a huge fan of that. If you're a vampire, this is definitely the car for you without a doubt. Rear center armrest, of course, does come standard. There is a tablet holder in there and a cell phone holder in there as well. As far as the rear ventilation goes, it's going to be located just in front of the rear doors there, as well as just in front of the passengers in the middle there as well. So a couple different directions for rear ventilation. That's definitely nice. Rapid heating rear seats are going to be available, but I did want to mention there is an executive right rear seat available, and that is again just for the right rear seat, the passenger side, that is going to recline 43 degrees and includes a power calf and footrest feature, memory settings actually as well, and rear seat neck heating rear seat neck heating. Is that even a thing? That's an incredible feature. Mercedes, you thought of everything for this S-Class. I absolutely love it. And of course, you got freaking pillows for the headrest back there as well. So 100% on point when it comes to rear seat comfort without a doubt. And of course, ventilated rear seats are available then as well. But so then making our way up to the front seats, 12-way power adjustable front seats do come standard. They will be heated. Multi-contour front seats with the massage function, all of that coming standard. Ventilated front seats coming standard. Memory settings can be found on both the driver and passenger side doors for up to three different driver and passenger. So even the passenger can have their own memory settings, which is pretty darn sweet. Napa leather is going to come standard as a quilted Napa leather. There are several different interior color options available as well. And overall, one of the most comfortable seats you can possibly imagine. Of course, power lumbar adjustments as well. I didn't even mention that. So you sink right into these seats and they're kind of an extended seat cushion as well. So extremely comfortable place to be in the front seats then as well. But then take a look at the steering wheel. It is tilt and telescoping. It is leather wrapped and it is heated as well. And the 10 and 2 bolsters are definitely on the thicker side, which I personally appreciate that as well then make your way to the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key it is a pretty heavy duty key all of your buttons are on one side of the key the mercedes logo is going to be the lock button just underneath of that unlock and of course bottom button there is going to be the power trunk then but it is essentially all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my phone on the brake and press that engine start button located just to the left of the infotainment screen there so once started up 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster does come standard speedometers on your left tachometer is on your right and of course it's all digital so you can really customize it however you want you actually have the ability to put uh, navigation on those gauges if you wanted to not just in the middle section but you can also make it take up the entire gauge cluster if you wanted to as well which is pretty cool there's a couple different gauge looks so you got classic which is what it naturally defaults to there's exclusive which is a pretty darn cool look as well I like that there's also sport actually let me put it on that real quick that is a really cool look. It looks like you're in some kind of futuristic race car or something. <laughs> I like that. And then there's understated, which I've seen on plenty of other Mercedes Benz as well. So overall, everything can be controlled by using the steering wheel mounted controls found on the left side of the steering wheel. I love these different gauge readouts. So definitely a bunch of different looks, whatever you're into. So I am a huge fan of these gauges without a doubt one of the best gauge clusters i think that is out there right now without a doubt my last 600 and so cars that i've checked out but anyways now let's go ahead and make our way to overall interior quality a panorama roof does come standard for all trim levels across the board led interior lighting of course garage door openers found on the lower portion of that frameless rear view mirror for up to three different garage doors Dual zone climate control, of course, coming standard. 64 colors of ambient lighting as well, and that's all adjusted through the center infotainment screen I'll be touching on here in a little bit. Illuminated door sills do come standard. The AMG line is going to add a couple different things. AMG floor mats on the inside, stainless steel pedals as well. We actually have stainless steel pedals, actually 
right now, which is pretty cool. Wood trim does come standard and it's uh, matte wood trim, which I personally love. I like the little texturized feel to it. Wireless phone charger can be found kind of just to the upper left-hand corner of the cup holders there. So you got that, you got a little more storage, dual cup holders, of course. Two phone charging ports within the center armrest to get two more phone charging ports and a decent amount of space there. Let's check out the glove box real quick. And actually within the glove box, you're actually going to find your uh, scented air freshener in there too. So definitely a big fan of that. And it's like a felt maybe kind of material inside the glove box. So another cool texture inside the glove box. All kinds of different textures in this thing. So I'm definitely a big fan. I like the quilted leather as well found on the doors. They carried on the quilted leather from the seats onto the doors. So that was pretty cool too. Overall, I don't think it gets a whole heck of a lot better than the interior quality in an S class in the end. But now let's go ahead and make our way to the infotainment screen here. A 12.8 inch OLED touchscreen display does come standard. Of course, Bluetooth and audio streaming coming with that wireless Android Auto Apple CarPlay. That is a new feature that uh, vehicles are starting to roll out now. So I like that the S-Class, the new S-Class has that coming standard as well. Factory navigation also coming standard. You can adjust your climate control settings up on that screen as well. Heated seat buttons are up there. You can also adjust your ambient lighting settings up there, which I thought was pretty cool. And you actually have multicolor ambient lighting settings as well, which I think is pretty cool. So different colors depending upon uh, which section of the vehicle that uh, you're taking a look at. So I think that's freaking awesome. I like that. Anyways, you can of course check out your radio information up there as well. And by the way, the standard sound system on the S-Class is a 15 speaker Burmester sound system. So having said that, that is the one we have today. Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> That was fun. Definitely a very nice sound system. I actually felt the bass kind of where my left foot is. So there's definitely something going on down there. I don't know if it's subwoofer or what, but ton of bass, ton of clarity, ton of loudness. So that was an excellent sound system for the S-Class without a doubt. But last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the S-Class in reverse, you will find a very very high definition rear view camera. Not only that, a surround view monitor also comes standard there to the left. So that is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side side curtain airbags do come standard driver's knee airbag as well. In addition to that rear side impact airbags as well. I know that's an option on a lot of BMWs, but I like that it comes standard here on the S-Class. But in the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, high pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard on the S580. E-call emergency system, which is excellent. That means if you get into an accident, if somebody hits you or something, the car is automatically going to call you, ask you if you're all right, and if you need the police or ambulance or whatever. So I love that feature. Active parking assist, blind spot assist, active brake assist with autonomous emergency braking, lane keep assist, lane departure warning, forward collision mitigation with pedestrian detection, driver attention monitoring system, and evasion assist then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the S58, it's an extremely quick car, especially for the size of the sedan. Zero to 60 and 3.9 is definitely very, very quick. Great braking, 60 to zero in 108 feet. Also an extremely impressive number. Definitely not gonna have any issues with that. This is probably the best ride quality with the most quietest cabin I have ever experienced in my last 600 plus drives that I've done right now. So it really is the benchmark for a luxury car without a doubt. Of course, Mercedes-Benz, in my personal opinion, has the best ambient lighting as far as the brightness output at night and what that actually looks like. So I love that. And also excellent tech as well. I really can't come up with any room for improvement besides it's well out of my budget, but that's about it. Let me know what you guys think of the new S580 in the comment section below. That is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually gets to YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel. After all, I do appreciate you guys watching more than you know and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold!